Welcome to this tutorial of OnFleet. In this video, I will take you through the app and show you how to use it. Before logging in, you should receive a text message inviting you to join OnFleet. A temporary password will be provided. Use it to log in with your phone number. Once logged in, OnFleet will prompt you to create a new personalized password. Once you have signed into OnFleet, it should take you to the task page. By looking at the top of the page and the box site logo, you can notice that you are currently offline. Before going online, it is a good idea for you to go into the settings and change the make and the model of your car. In the settings, you can also choose your preferred navigation method. After adjusting your settings, head back to the front page. You will know you are still offline when greeted with the Box Night logo. To go online, press the button at the top which will turn greet. Your list of assigned tasks will appear on that page immediately once online. Your first task is always at the top of the list of tasks. This is the one you will select to start your route. When you're ready to begin, select the first task at the top by clicking it. You'll be able to see the task note details, the address, the recipient name, and the delivery window. Task note, notes and details will include things such as access information, alternative contact information, delivery instructions, parking information, etc. The customer's name, address, delivery window are standard to every on-fleet task and will not be in the notes section. Notes are important to check when a driver starts a task and when they arrive at the delivery or pickup. Task notes will also let the driver know whether the task is a pickup or a delivery. As mentioned earlier, this will be where you find information such as names, delivery window, addresses, etc. And it is always crucial that you always read task notes as they are specific to each delivery. There are two methods to starting a task. Either click and hold the bottom button or select the arrow located at the top right next to the task address, which will be shown as navigate and start task. This will automatically open your preferred navigation method with directions to the location. Once arrived at the delivery destination, go back to your task, verify the notes section. For instance, in this one it says leave box on porch. However, I want to stress the importance of handing the customer their delivery. Therefore, you should always try and ring the doorbell, call and text the customer to get a signature. In other words, the ideal situation is always a hand delivery and signature. So always ring the doorbell, if not home, call the customer or text the customer. If they answer, follow their live instructions over the phone or wait for them to come to the door. If there is no answer to the phone call, follow any note instructions that are on the task information. Once at the destination, return to your OnFleet app, select Tap to Complete on the task page. There will be a number of options for completing the task. I want to reiterate that you should always try ringing the doorbell, knocking on the door, or buzzing the apartment. The ideal delivery is handing the package directly to the happy customer and getting their signature. If a customer is home, choose Signature and have them sign right on the screen of your phone. If you ring the doorbell but no one answers, if you call a customer by clicking the phone icon next to their name, if they don't answer, review and follow the notes. And so this delivery says leave box on porch. Select picture, place the boxes requested, and snap a picture to confirm the delivery. Select the photo icon to take a photo. You want to get a picture of both the box and the address. Once the photo has been taken, you will press done. Now let's go over a few other scenarios. Tasks will differ based on the notes, however you should always complete the same steps for each one. First step, select task. Second step, attempt to contact customer if no answer at the door. Third step, call box night helpline. And fourth step, read the notes and follow instructions as a last case scenario. This one says, apartment building entrance code is number 3387, please leave in front of my door. So you should try to enter the code at the entrance of the apartment building. However, in certain cases, the code may not work. We urge you to go through the apartment directory, attempt to find the name of the customer, and call them to try and be buzzed in. If you still cannot go in after trying every possible way, please call Box Night to not notify us that you will leave it at the entrance. Usually the apartment number on the door should be noted after the address. So in the, this case, it is 506. Therefore, you want to enter the building and head to apartment 506, always knock on the door and try calling first before placing the box and taking a picture. Instructions and notes always come after ringing and calling. Leave it in front of the customer's door and then take a photo of it as you did with the previous task. 
This next task states in the notes, doorbell broken, please knock as well. So upon your arrival at the customer's home, you must knock on their door. In addition to this specific note, this package is a special delivery that requires a signature. As you can see on this page, signature is required, which means that you cannot complete the task without a signature. If you are unable to reach the customer, it is very important that you call a box aid helpline so that we can reach them and give them their package. Finally, the last task has no notes attached to it. Therefore, if upon your arrival to the destination, there is no response at the door, it is crucial that you try calling them or texting them. Your phone number goes through the box night service and therefore, they will not have your phone number on file. If they don't answer, simply call our BoxNet helpline for further instructions. If the customer does answer, they might give you specific details about where to leave it, which you should go on to take a photo of it in order to complete the task. Perhaps they might tell you that they did, they did not order this package and it was a mistake. Therefore, you are required to call the helpline for more information on how to proceed. If the helpline informs you to mark a delivery as a failure, you must do so by selecting it and then writing the explanation for why it was a failure in the details. Once you have completed all of your tasks, you can go offline. At this point, you can also go into your analytics to view the total kilometers driven within a certain time frame. This concludes the tutorial of OnFleet. Thank you for joining the BoxNight team.